in your export button, which I will go over. Because a lot of people are always interested in knowing how can you export, what can you export as. So these are good things to know before you buy this program, which I always like to know ahead of time what I'm getting when I purchase something. And so the cool part of me doing this, I hope, is that you can see what Movavi is before you purchase it. What's going on guys, it's me Jiggly and I'm back with something different than video game footage. I wanted to show today an overview of Movavi Video Suite 16. This is going to be kind of a brief crash course of what it is and this is what I use guys to edit my videos. I'm always asked, Jiggly, what do you use? And I, I use Movavi. It's great. It's much better than Windows Movie Maker. Uh, it's not quite on the on the level of um, Adobe Premiere Pro probably or Sony Vegas, but it is a fraction of that cost. That is for sure. And this Video Suite 16, I used to use 15, and I have a video on my channel of 15. Uh, but 16 is oh boy, they've they've added some features to it. Let me tell you, I I love this product. But uh, yeah, I'll have a link in the description below to their site if you're interested in it. And um, no, it's not an affiliated link. There's no compensation for this. I'm doing this purely as a review because I want to show uh, my, my subscriber base and people who are asking me what do I use, what I use, and um, how it's used. So right here, the most, the most common thing I use with Video Suite is Edit Video and Capture right here from Camera VHS. That's how I capture my face cam and I record it separately. I do use OBS to record my screen capture and my gameplay. Uh, but Movavi is used for everything else. So they also have an audio tab, a photo tab, data. Of course, these are all pretty self-explanatory on what they do. Um, and I even have a discount to buy the more detailed versions, evidently. And then the user guides. Right here, they have links that'll link out to their web page. And this is how you can learn how to use all this stuff, guys. It is impressive. So the first thing we're going to do, though, is we're gonna, I'm going to show you the edit video. Um, this is what I use to produce all my content. Um, you can use it as a capture device as well, which some people do, I guess. I personally don't. But when you hit edit video, this is going to pop up. You're not going to have nothing loaded here. It's going to look default. I've already preloaded some of the stuff in there so we can streamline that process. But this is what you get when you load edit video. Okay. Um, you, you get your operating area over here. This is your operating window uh, right in this area. This is your controls. Uh, this right here is your preview of what your video is looking like. If you change it, it'll of course change. Um, and then you have your your tracks down here. This is uh, your text track or any like you can you can put your pictures and videos in the in the video overlay track is what I always call it. You got your main video track and then you got your audio and your secondary audio if that's what you so choose like music and stuff so you can like lower the volume on it but yet your volume up here is better uh, and I went ahead and detached this audio from the video let's see if I yeah it won't even let me retouch I'd have to go back and do that but this is your track section down here so you got your project settings here your project length and your export button which I will go over because a lot of people are always interested in knowing how can you export? What can you export as? So these are good things to know before you buy this program, which I always like to know ahead of time what I'm getting when I purchase something. And so the cool part of me doing this, I hope, is that you can see what Movavi is before you purchase it, and you can have kind of an understanding. Um, if you want to see tutorial videos on it, leave me some comments below letting me know. If I get enough requests, I'll look at doing some tutorials on it, but otherwise, guys, this is going to be just a nice overview of what this program is. So right here, you can import all your different files. Um, you got you can record video within Movavi from your face cam if that's what you so choose uh, to do. To you do can, you can, yep. So it yep. procs up, um, and then you can import it as a video folder or file. You can do a record voiceover, which will start right here. Wherever your, your bar is, is where that voiceover will start. You can hit start recording and it's going to go. I don't want it to. Three, two, one. So we're going to stop before we do it. But you can pick your audio quality. Um, they have a lot of filters, guys. That's the next option here is filters. Um, it's, it's impressive uh, how many filters they do have. 
And going back, they also give you uh, different sounds that you can use. They're pretty basic. You can always download more, and they outsource those. And I think you can purchase them and put them in your editor. But uh, transitions, they have a lot of transitions. I love playing with these. To see one in action, I have one made right down here. Watch right in this area, guys. Watch as it transitions. Ooh, see how it minimized down? So that's what the transition is. You got the zoom in, zoom out, all kinds of all kinds of transitions. Different text overlays. You got the clean contrast, the clean circle. Uh, you got your uh, your video, as you guys know, in the intro. This is what was used for mine. Of course, I changed up some of the colors and the and the names, but uh, the text, but. That's what it also has available to you. The new a new thing from Video Suite 15 to 16 is the call out section or where you can do overlays, highlights, arrows, you can they added in all this. It was amazing. I love it. I've been using it for my mod tutorials, the arrows and pointing to stuff. But you could do this for your vlogs if there's something in the background that you wanted to highlight. You can go down in slow-mo. This thing does it does quite a bit for a video editor. It does what you for the most part expect it to do. Um, this is your tool section here. You can do your highlight, conceal, your chroma key, your stabilize. So if you're like hand recording, um, you can try and stabilize your shake a little bit, which is always helpful for you know personal videos, vlogging videos. So if if your camera doesn't already have built-in stabilization, which some do, depending on what your your budget is. Um, yeah, the the biggest thing too with the update was the audio. So I gotta show that off real quick. It's it's pretty fun. Uh, let's go down to pan, zoom. Nope, we want noise. So right here we're in the audio section. If I went to video, it'd be like, what do you mean video? I'm not. I don't have nothing highlighted. Notice how that's yellow border. Now that is. Now that one is. So now it goes to audio because there is no video. But you can adjust your volume, your speed of the of the of the video. You got equalizer controls, noise removal, which you can use a frequency filter for hiss and hum. You can use a noise gate with different decimal levels depending on what you want. We can say none and we'll have no noise removal. The yeah, beats detection, that's pretty fancy. I haven't played with it, but it does have beat detection too to try and sync and rhythm stuff. Audio effects, so this is what's really cool and I kind of want to just show you different ones. So here's my regular audio. I've been working for this nether world here. Uh, so we've been working for that nether world, right? Well, now let's see how we sound as a robot world here. I'm switching it up between Oak and Birch when I do this. We sound like something from the future there, sci-fi wise. It's crazy. Uh, we could do high pitch. Now we're going to sound kind of, uh, well, like we hadn't gone through puberty. Switching it up between Oak and Birch when I do this stuff. But uh, I want to be able to portal to the... So, I think that's kind of cool. Low pitch. Uh, let's just see how we sound if we... Looking for this nether world here. Yeah, uh, switching so, it up. Yeah, we sound like we're a little deeper. So... That's that's the uh, beauty of the audio effects. I think they're fun. Uh, you can I haven't really used them in any projects, but I think it's really cool. But that's also what's been added. Um, it, it's awesome. But it, another important feature is like okay, so I want to use this for my videos for whatever you do. But what can I export as Jiggly? So this is this is a good point. So we'll go over that real quick. Export. You can save as a video. You can do it as AVI, MP4, MOV, MPEG, WFLV, all kinds of DVD all kinds of stuff. Um, you can save just the audio file if that's what you so choose to. Um, you can go for Apple devices depending on what you're doing with Apple devices or subsequently Android devices. Those are the different ones. I don't know if yours is in there that you're interested in. Other devices, you got Arcos, BBK, Blackberry, Kindle, Zoom, SanDisk, PSP, PlayStation 3s, Xboxes, Windows 8, Nokia stuff, mobile phones, uh, and then, of course, the most popular one for me is the YouTube uh, 1080p. Um, that's what I use, and it streamlines. If you've ever uploaded to YouTube, you know it says, hey, if you have all your stuff in this particular format, it goes faster. Well, that's what Movavi has done for you here. Um, and so that's what I use. But if you're going to upload to MySpace or Facebook or Vimo or um, some, something else, FLV or SWF or whatever, that's what's available to you right here. So I always go with 1080p. Uh, you can change your project settings as well. You can pick and choose. You can even go to 4K, 4096 by 2160. And you can pick your frame rates all the way up to 120 with the newest update. 
If you only have uh, Movavi Video Suite 15, you can only go to uh, 19 1080p. But now with 16, they introduced 4K. Um, super impressed. So, and then you can do your sample rates and all that fancy stuff in Gizmos. Uh, then you have different quality options. So good, high. Notice this difference in estimated file size, though, um, for just this 16-minute video without any extra edits. It's pretty. It's pretty different. I always use good. Um, and it, it, everything works really well for me. I think the video quality looks fine. Um, so yeah, that's totally up to you, but that's your export options. But um, yeah, I, I hope this has been helpful. You can adjust your scale down here, how to change your, uh, your lower scaling if you like to work with bigger or smaller. It's totally up to you. There is a bunch of quick keys as well. I won't go over those, but I'm sure Movavi has a tutorial on them. And uh, yeah, and it, it has preferences here. Acceleration, if you're using NVIDIA, I know for a fact mine's an NVIDIA card. I don't know if ATI Radeon works or not, but this thing is impressive. The ability to export now uh, from, from 15 to 16, 16 blows it out the water, man. It is impressive. Here's where you can set your uh, files to save as and automatically check for updates, all that fancy gizmo stuff. So uh, let's see, preferences one more time. Send them anonymous, show startup window, creating use software, OGI, play notification, which I don't do, but it's a loud ding essentially. So, but this is Movavi Video Suite, guys. This little guy right here, Suite 16. Link is in the description below. I hope this overview has been helpful. I hope you've kind of got an understanding of what it is. And this is what I, Mr. Jiggly, uses <laughs> to edit my videos. So. Um, I'm not affiliated again with them in any way guys I just wanted to make this for you as a personal note of what it is and what I use I think the price of this is like 60 to 100 bucks it just depends if it's on sale or not uh, you can always contact Movavi talk to them see what they can do for you but uh, they're they're an impressive company guys um, they're on Twitter that's how I usually communicate with them um, but uh, yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button if this has been helpful. If you're not a member of the community, hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And uh, I hope you guys like Minecraft videos. If you, if you do, check them out. I have a lot of Minecraft videos. And uh, yeah, share it with your friends and family. And give Movavi a try. Go check them out. Movavi.com. Links in the description. Take care.